I went to Rome. I didn't have a passport then. I like to tell that story, and it's like, oh, I should have gone to Rome, but I didn't have a passport. Or anything, so. Well, here I am. I'm back. <laughs> and um, I'm going to sing a few songs. Uh, and uh, it's Randy's. Randy's Roadhouse 25th anniversary. Happy birthday, Randy's Roadhouse. You don't look a day over 324. I'm talking to the building, I'm not talking to Randy. I said it earlier to somebody, I said, you know, I heard about Randy's way before I ever moved up here. You know, legendary stuff. Dan Lowinger. He says, you gotta go to Randy's Roadhouse. Here I am. Just three cars stopped here today One for gas and Two for direction Things stay like this, things got to change But for what? Well that's the question But the answer's not here Seems like not so long ago We had money We even saved So we could buy that piece of land That your uncle owned Out on the Chesapeake Bay There we'd retire Live out our days, but our days we we'll live out here, I suppose. An old lonesome road nobody knows. dress was yellow, pink, and blue. You were standing by the theater with your cousin Lou. And when the show was through, I walked you home. The night was warm, you were so young. And I knew then you were the one. Now I wonder if you regret now that you chose An old lonesome road nobody knows I prime the pumps, I burn the trash Count the tires, count the cash. 
Days like these don't seem to pass So much as stand there Staring at an old man's reflections And a life he never chose What was open now is closed On this old lonesome road nobody knows I wrote that song about my granddaddy. He used to own a filling station, gas station in, in uh, Newport News, Virginia. This song is my autobiography. Within this song is where I come from, where I've been, where I am, and probably where I'm going. The title of this song is called Grande Corpulent Moon. A very auspicious title based on the title of another song that I wrote that seems very popular among people that I play it for. Called Grant, uh, no, it's not called that, it's called Big Fat Moon. Big Fat Moon is an interesting song because I wrote it very quickly and it, you know, I don't play for that many people, but those I do play for, they come up afterwards and they say, I liked your set, or I liked your songs, I especially like that one about the moon. Little kids like it. My friend Kaya called me one time and said, I bought your record and I'm playing that song Big Fat Moon in Soul. My son is singing it in the back seat, so it's like, it's a, it's my hit. But this isn't it. This song is called Grande Corpulent Moon. This is my autobiography. I digress. Cambridge, Massachusetts, I got in it pretty deep. A poor little junko on Ivy beleaguered streets. I sang a song of sixpence about a grand corpulent moon, and it was over in a second. Not a second over soon I thumbed a ride to Boston Where they offered me a hand And I declined the invitation Cause I didn't understand It all started in Virginia 1966 Just a little bit of nothing Down below the Mason Dicks Dogwood and magnolia trees, Coca-Cola and sweet tea, summers by the swimming pools, brothers breaking all the rules. I dream the song, the sixpence by the grand copulent moon. It ain't over for a second, or one second over soon. I grew up straight and grew up strong while Watergate and Vietnam flickered on the Magnavox as I broke out in chicken pox. Russia had her sights on us. Children climbed aboard the bus. Parents raised an awful fuss. Didn't know who else to trust. The gas lines formed around the block. The old Ford, it ran on fumes. It was no age of innocence. Whitey landed on the moon. They got this saying down in Texas about how not to make a mess. But I messed around there anyways, just like all the rest. I dreamed a song of sixpence about a grand coquelet moon, and it was over in a second, not a second over soon. As the gang and I together played like kings upon the hill, the fires that surrounded us, those fires are burning 
still I wished upon a lone star and packed my meager grip And climbed aboard a caravan that took a mighty trip I took a love for granted but I guess it had to be The open road was calling but it wasn't calling me But it dropped me off in New Orleans at two fade rice and beans. He just like a mother's womb, the air of jasmine, perfume bloom, jukebox full of rhythm blues. Picky you and ignore the news. High life at that sugar pot, big muddy churning in the dark, won me over in a second, not a second over soon. I sang my song of sixpence and ooh, Claire do I lose. But it got that party rolling and Mother Nature intervened and destroyed all that surrounded us in one chaotic scene. The poor ones didn't stand a chance, scattered by the circumstance. The rich fared little better still, they grudgingly picked up. New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, D.C., Asheville, Nashville, it's all the same to me. I sang my song of sixpence about a grand coke, you then moon, and it was second after second, not a second after soon. Well, I was whirling like a dervish, I was a dervish wreck. I said hooray for Hollywood, she bit me on the neck. I found my way to Washington, up on Puget Sound. I pitched my tent and found true love and finally settled down. But never for one second, or oh, one second for one soon, will I chase my tail from hill to dale the way I used to do. I sung my song of sixpence about a grand cup you let me. It ain't over for one second, no one second for one soon. I've had my fun, don't doubt me, son. This ain't my final tune. My memories like souvenirs and flashes sometimes reappear like nickels from a slot machine or tremors from a fever dream or sweet familiar faces in all types of places that didn't have to like me. But so often they just do As I sing my song with sixpence And a grand compliment Do it for the women, the old ones, and the babies crying, crying for their families and their homes, crying because they're sunk down to their bones. So come on and leave them alone. Peacemaker, peacemaker, the people are afraid. I count on you, you got a job to do, so get out, stop the bleeding, and until you do, they won't stop bleeding. Your flashing blues and your sirens screaming. They ain't white earth and they ain't Jesse James. Get out and do your work, stop taking names. Oh, come on, they don't need you.
lawmaker, lawmaker, how do you sleep? You rape and you reap, even you must know that your days are numbered. This giant wakes while you slumber, and then you pay for every single one. And you'll fall faster than the setting sun. Go on, keep the same. I'll go on, keep the same. Thank you guys. Black is the color of the night like any other as we sleepwalk together down along the river. The air is heavy as we climb onto a levee and see the light of the city sparkle on the water as they dream about the ones got pulled under. We dream about you and we dream about me. We dream about the way things used to be. You can take my hand now if you really want to. Oh, just stay glued to some godforsaken boss do. You better make a move. This moment will never come again. The city glows like a beacon in the mist and tonight I find it hard to resist you're asking me is this all some kind of test will it may be cause despite the suffering of the peoples there are crows and eagles nesting in the steeples oracles calling on some heavenly angels to come on home and carelessly Turn the table, The city glows like a beacon in the mist, and tonight I find it hard to resist. You're asking me is to sell some kind of test will it may be You can take my hand now if you really want to I'll just stay glued to some godforsaken bar stool You better make a move This moment will never come again You better make a move son This moment may never come again Thanks a lot. This is for my friends and the rest of the country. This is a Rainier beer. This is what we drink out here. Everybody, it's the only beer they have out here. Yeah, it's true. Okay, do y'all remember what I was talking about earlier? and how I wrote this song called Grande Corpulent Moon about another song called Big Fat Moon. Does everybody remember that? It was like five minutes ago, right? Good. <laughs> this is Big Fat Moon. Big fat moon over the horizon. How do you do? What have I done? Tell me, moon, 
all about your women Have you ever had just one Who made you sad and lonely Like she's the only One in the world Who makes you sorry For the things you do Big fat moon before the night is through, I'm liable to go crazy. I sing this song about my baby, so dark and lovely. Lips like blood and skin like bone. Does she love me? Does she dream of me? At night, does she look up at you and is she there alone? How can I tell her how much I need her? When I'm afraid that I will lose her between me and you. I'm a fool. All big fat moon, I know I never should have doubted her. Tonight I sit here sadly pining for the one I love so madly moon I can't recall the time I've been this blue Moon look down and see for me if she's alright then let her be tonight I'll sit alone and look at you A big fat moon over the horizon How do you do what have I done? Tell me moon all about your women Have you ever had just one Who made you sad and lonely like she's the only in the world who makes you sorry for the things you do big fat moon before the night is through I'm liable to go crazy before the night is through I think I'm liable to go crazy Thanks. So, I'm a natural snoop. I'm a spy. I'm an eavesdropper. I'm a busybody. And I, I you know, because I'm a writer, I feel like I come by it honestly. And one of my favorite places to snoop in Bellingham is that Greek Taverna on Cornwall Avenue. I don't know if you've ever been there, but the, the bar in the very back of the restaurant is where I like to do my snooping. And I, I was there fairly recently, and um, I, I was overhearing a conversation of the guys next to me. And I like this place mainly because it's where all the regulars do, as my father used to say, solve all the world's problems. I mean, these guys really know what's going on and how to fix it. And, and I was sitting there, and this guy let out a very dramatic sigh. And he said, I can't believe there's only two Wilburys left. You know? And I'm like, yeah, it's true. There's only two Wilburys left. And I, for some reason, I couldn't get over that, you know, I just kept thinking about it.
And I decided, you know, um, since Mr. Petty just left the world, I was going to learn a Tom Petty song. And uh, the thing about that, though, is the two Wilburys I know the least are uh, Tom and the other guy. <laughs> yeah, right? So I'm like, okay. And it's not like, I mean, obviously, Tom Petty's music has been on the radio my entire life, mostly. You know, I've heard him my whole life, but I never really listened. And um, so I decided to, to learn Stop Dragging My Heart Around. Anybody know that one? Him and, him and Stevie Nicks. And I was going to sing both parts, like, in character. You know? And then I tried it out, and Julia said, don't do that. No, I'm kidding. And uh, so, but... I did learn uh, another one, and I'm going to do it. Uh, and I learned it because Johnny Cash did it. And uh, so I'm going to try it. I don't do that many covers because I usually screw them up. But I'm going to try not to screw this one up. There's a southern accent. Where I come from, the youngins call it country and the Yankees call it dumb. I got my own way of talking and everything is done with a southern Well, that drunk tank in Atlanta was just a motel room for me. And I might go work Orlando if the orange groves don't freeze. I got my own way of working and everything is wrong. With a southern accent Where I come from Just a minute then I was dreaming just a minute it was all so real And just a minute she was standing there by me There's a dream I keep having When my mama comes to me Kneels over by the window And she says a prayer for me I got my own way of praying And everyone's begun With a southern accent Where I For uh, Tom Petty and Cash and, and Lucas Hicks and all the other great musicians that have left us recently and not so recently.
snow in the yard this year seems a little hard and it's lasting longer than it usually would i concentrate quietly at the news on the tv but soon turn it off cause it's doing me no good i try to revisit i try to remember i try to recall all i saw in september back in virginia i used to have a band we weren't famous or anything but we did like to play music and we had an album and we had a record company and the record company would say please go out and tour and you know bring some attention to yourself and we said okay we can do that so we would go down to the Carolinas and sometimes to Georgia and sometimes even as far out to West Virginia on the Ohio border and one of the guys in the band quit and decided to move to New York City to find his fame and fortune I think he finally did eventually but way back in 2001 he called us up and uh, said why don't you bring the band up to New York and play with my new band it'll be fun and I said you know that does sound like it would be fun let's do it so we uh, booked a show for the second week of September well for those old enough to remember on September 11 a bunch of madmen pulled a suicide mission and killed about 3,000 people. And my friend called me up and says, are you still coming? I said, yeah, I think so. And he said, well, listen, if you do, would you please bring my little girl up and her mother because things are pretty weird up here and I'd like to see them. And I said, of course I can do that. And I called my band and I said, hey guys, do you want to go up to this show and Three of them said, no, we're just going to stay home because, you know, that's what people did, you know. They kind of huddled and hunkered down. Uh, so they all said no except my fiddle player, John. He was not much of a fiddle player, but he was always up for an adventure. Blue Star Highway lay out before me a woman, a child, and a friend by my side. A man said you'd better not go up there that way, but we set out anyway, eyes open wide. Calypso music we choose to play as we glide. Beneath the heavy skies of September And my front door in Richmond, Virginia to New York City On a good day was about six hours But the problem was Washington DC was right in the way And somebody flew a jetliner into the side of the Pentagon And tore a big hole in it and The highways were pretty jam-packed And uh, as I recall the far left lane going both ways was uh, for uh, emergency vehicles only. So while we sat still and tried to make our way up the highway, ambulances and fire trucks and police cars and military vehicles were flying by making us feel very nervous. But I had a map and I took the old highway 301 up through Maryland and Delaware and it was a creative way to get there, and it worked. And we were trying to get to Brooklyn, so we had to go across Staten Island. These two bridges. And man, that's when it got really rough. Go thaws to Verrazano. Took what seemed like 40 hours. Standing like soldiers, shoulders to shoulders. We sang out loudly that song by Woody Guthrie. But the dusty old dust just made it all seem that much longer Relieving ourselves in the back seat in a jar How much farther September Exhausted we climbed up 
Flights of staircases said our hellos and we shared our embraces Then off to the show where we held their attention and sang them songs about loss and redemption Now the little bar that we played at happened to be right next door to a fire station and because of the proximity of this fire station uh, to Lower Manhattan, it was one of the first uh, responders to the North Tower. So a number of the uh, members of the ladder crew of this station were in that tower when it fell. So uh, they didn't make it. So what turned out, well it started out was just a gig in a bar became a, uh, a uh, memorial to the fallen men and women that died and their families and everybody was there and it was, it was very emotional. And we met the men who had actually been there and spoke of their friends that they would never see again. I said I didn't think I had the nerve to go over there But they said you better and remember what you see I not pack my gear as they and all the girls disappear Into the streets of September and There's a phenomenon that happens when a disaster takes place in a place I saw it in New York then and I, I saw it years later in New Orleans after Katrina. You know, people kind of get drunk on disaster. You know, they don't stay home, they go out and then they sort of share their experiences with each other. So that night was a very late night and we ended up in Brooklyn on a rooftop and uh, it was actually a pretty fun night, but you could see over into Manhattan, the building was still on fire. You could see the smoke coming up. And my fiddle player, John, do you remember John? I mentioned him earlier. He uh, was uh, talking to a young woman and they were getting very cozy. And I remember him asking her if she was single and she said, well, I've been thinking about breaking up with my boyfriend, but he's a policeman, and I just don't think now is the right time. And I thought to myself, that is an interesting perception into the, socio uh, the sociology, sociology, that's about right, of a disaster, or one of the most creative brush-offs I've ever heard. Very late that night, from a fine Brooklyn rooftop, I saw what I suppose I had already seen. A mass of white smoke rising up into the darkness and the mercury lamps and the clattering machines. I rested my head on the ledge. I had to sleep. These thoughts would keep. The next morning, we took the subway into Lower Manhattan, and you come out of a hole in the ground, and the first thing you see is a sculpture of a big bull. And it was covered in this white powder. And then I looked around, and everything else was covered in the white powder. And as we moved closer uh, to where the World Trade Center was, you saw more of the destruction. There were more storefront windows broken and police tape and generators on the streets making electricity. And there were all of these posters up with pictures of people on them and numbers and you know, things written on them saying, if you've seen this person, please call. We hit the sidewalk, everything was covered in chalk. The air tasted bitter and the sun burned my eyes. 
I asked the guy right next to me, hey, where did it all happen? And he pointed up, and all I saw was an empty sky. I raised my camera, took a picture of nothing, and I sighed. How many there died? We moved in closer, I got my answer. Hundreds of trucks filled with steel and debris. Hundreds of policemen and hundreds of soldiers and hundreds of people standing around just like me. I couldn't stand it anymore, so I walked along the river and I grieved. It was all that I could bear to see. Just then I see sheets of icicle falling and all the while bitter wind constantly calling a personal memory I can't help but dream about. I wish I'd never been there to see. September Thanks. Um, I'm going to do just a couple of more songs and and this one I'm going to do I did not write. And uh, I've made a promise to myself, I am going to write a song about what I think is beautiful about the world uh, one day. And until I do, uh, I'm going to play this one. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see him bloom for me and for you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue Clouds of white Bright sunny days dark sacred nights and I think to myself what a wonderful world the colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky I see it in the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn more than I What a wonderful world mm -hmm. Lord, I think to myself What a wonderful world I'd like to wish Randy's Roadhouse a happy 25th birthday and, and 25 more. I'll, I'll be here. You know, I went to a birthday party before I came over here and I met a man who is 94 years old. And he drank two beers, he had a cane with skulls on the handle, and um, 
grabbed a bunch of hot dogs and jumped in his car and took off down the road, and I hope to beat him. <laughs> like, now, but uh, you know, I definitely look forward to it when I get old. I hope I can be that way. So anyway, thank you guys. Um, Sons of Rainier will be up after I get off. I'm going to do uh, one more song. Uh, this is a um, also a, uh, a remembrance of uh, the great Lucas Hicks. And uh, I wrote a song about Lucas, and I'm going to finish with that one. And then I'll say good night. <laughs> Come gather round people, a story I'll sing About a brave young man, could do most anything He came from Colorado to the Pacific Northwest To follow the beat of his heart Like Gabriel with a trumpet, Orpheus with his lyre The music ran through him like thunder, like fire And the gods, they took notice and they wagered a bet And they watched as the poor young man suffered and sweat First they tied down his arm And then dared him to play And to their great surprise he played better that way But like old Joe before him They didn't let up till he drank every drop that he poured in his cup He traveled the world he made all kinds of friends. His music, his message, the means and the ends. But the gods became jealous and they twisted the screws. So the young man did the only thing left he could do. He bowed down his head, but he didn't pray. He threw his shoulder to the wheel and continued to play. And the music got better. Both bitter and sweet, it put smiles on our lips, it put dance in our feet. But the gods didn't give up because that's not what gods do. They made a hell of a mess by the time they were through. But he kicked and he bucked like a mule to the end. And I'm proud to say this brave young man was my friend. Who came from Colorado to the Pacific Northwest And we danced to the beat of the heart in his chest Like Gabriel with his trumpet, Orpheus with his lyre The music ran through him like thunder, like fire Like old Gabe with a trumpet, Orpheus with his lyre The music ran through him like thunder, like fire Thank you, folks. Good night. Thanks, Randy.